Hey hey, welcome back to Karen's Papercraft. Thank you very much for watching. What look that you recaked, thank you well. Today's project is for an Instagram hop, but I also gladly show you here on YouTube what I have designed. It's a card made with the Irresistible Blooms dies and stamp set, and this month's theme is dots and circles, and I've created a beautiful background with this die. If you want to find out how you could use this die to make a background, come and join me. The colours on this card are really, really soft and subtle. I had great trouble photographing it for the thumbnail and for my blog, so I hope the colouring shows up on film as well. But I found it difficult to... And, but I did want to keep the colours really soft. Um, OK, so I'll show you the supplies that I've used. I'm going to be using a D-block, the Daffodil Dark Blend, a blending brush, Bubble Bath and Soft Sea Firm Ink, Irresistible Blooms, the stamp and the dies, Blei en Bloemrijk in Dutch. OK, first the card. I've made it just a bit bigger than I normally would. This is what I call Memories and More Size, which is um, four and a half by six. Full size, it's eight and a half. In centimetres, that is opened 21.6 by 15.2 and you score it at 10.8 centimeters and the inches you score at a four and a quarter inches and this just fits a regular size envelope you see it's just large enough one thing you have to make sure is that when you stick the leaves on they are within the edges of the card otherwise you would have trouble fitting it in the envelope you see so don't let the leaves stick out from the edges. Okay, let me put this over here. Uh, the cardstock. Because I work in A4, I'm going to have to cut it in a different way. I'll show you. Let's get my trimmer out. You want eight and a half inches. Of course, if you work in letter, it already is eight and a half inches, so no problem there. But here I have to cut it with the long side top, otherwise, I won't be able to get the proper size and then I'm going to cut it at six inches there. If you work in letter you would take your long side and just cut it at six inches and that will be enough and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and then I'm going to do some masking to create that very really pretty background. First, I'm taking a post-it note, which I'm putting on top of my scored line. Just trying to find it in the light. And this isn't on properly. I want it on the right way to cover the score line as well. That's better. I've made a mask with this die. creates a beautiful cutout if you use it on a card as a cutout. But I've taken a scrap piece of cardstock. This is four and a half by four and a half inches and then you cut it in the middle because you want an edge around it which is large enough for your blending brush. And in centimeters that is eleven and a half by eleven and a half. And this you're going to use to colour the circles and first I'll put a piece of paper under. That's better. And then very gently I'm going to use the bubble bath ink to colour along the edges of the die. Be careful and be gentle because um, what you've cut out will move and you follow the contours so you get an idea of a rounded edge. I need it just a bit darker. Okay, see? Then I can put the next round in. So 
So instead of going like that in circles, then you will be moving what you have die cut. I'll just follow the lines of the die cut. And this looks really pretty. Then I'm going to cut some masks. And for those masks, I'm using the die, the outer edge. I'm going to cut one last mask and only the two large ones have sticky on the back. So I've adhered the partially cut ones with some sticky tape to cover up what I have blended before. Okay, and then I'm going to use the stump the dots, because that is the theme, dots and circles. I'm going to stamp in soft sea foam ink. And you can of course use your masks more than once. And this is how I create that very, very pretty background. Now I can fold my card, burnish it. And this is ready for the flowers. Look how beautiful. I hope, I really hope it shows on camera. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm looking up now into the viewer. I think you can see very subtle colouring. Okay, the flowers. I've already made two of them, the smaller ones, and I've already die cut the leaves. I've used Lost Lagoon because I was inspired by this. I'll show you what was my inspiration for this card. I had already decided on this background, but then for the flowers, look at this beautiful carnation. And I just thought that this green had a hint of Lost Lagoon. So that's why I decided to come to have a combination of the pink, this is the gorgeous flower, with the Lost Lagoon ink. <laughs> of course I meant to say cardstock, Lost Lagoon cardstock. Right, so for the flowers I've used again the Irresistible Blooms stamp set, the smaller one and this is the larger one. And I'm going to stamp that as well and I'm going to use the stamping emboss powder. Where to put my block? Oh. On my chamois. Okay. So, um, you saw me cut the cardstock and from the scraps you can very well stamp the flowers. I'm going to put everything ready because I'm going to stamp and then immediately pour the clear emboss powder on top. You have to make sure the ink is still wet. And then I'm going to heat set this with my heat tool. This then I'm going to die cut after that I have used the blend to colour in the centre of the flower and I'm also going to die cut the three leaves which are in the same die set. So I'll go and do that and then I'll be back with you. You can see me use a take a pick tool and this is um, part of the new um, 
can't think of the word things that you can put on your take your pick tool. There's a very pointy piercer and there's this one with this hook on it and this really works well to get the paper from the die because you can grab the paper and it'll hook onto the die. See? So it's easy to get the paper out and also this part which you can screw on and then open it up and you have a rotary cutter and I'm going to be using that for quite a number of nice projects as well. You could of course screw your brush tip on top of that as well but I usually just you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay so then put my dies back onto the magnetic sheet. I have my leaves here and then I'm going to, if I can find the trash, I'm going to adhere the flowers and the leaves onto the card. I need six. Oh, there's one extra. Right, I need six. <laughs> okay, um, I'll just hold it down like that and I'm going to put it on using the seal plus just a bit in the middle because I want to be able to stick the leaves under so don't put glue all over and the large one I'm going to put on some stamping dimensionals again to create some depth and to allow me to stick the leaves under and I'm going to stick the leaves on using the mini glue dots And a very very pretty card finished. That's it for today. Through my Instagram, Karen's Papercraft, you can see what the other participants have made. If you'd like to see more of my videos, there are some suggestions there. If you liked this video, I would love for you to like it or subscribe. Let's give the algorithm something to do. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you all for kijken and see you next time. Bye bye. Tot ziens.